Hi guys, this is Theo here, back with another episode of Shape Down Now. Uh, I just want to apologise for the last few weeks. Um, I haven't been posting um, anything pertaining to Shape Down. Um, it's been mad busy, so I just want to apologise. But I am back, I'm ready to go. I'm full of zest and I'm ready to, you know, crack on. So, um, this week's episode, um, I'm going to be talking about um, my love for Arsenal. I'm going to be talking about the ups, I'm going to be talking about the downs, I'm going to be talking about um, what's going on in this moment in time and um, also I'm going to start with um, how I got into Arsenal in the first place. Um, so we're going to get right to it, I hope you enjoy the show, um, subscribe, don't forget to leave comments below and tell me what you think about the show. So how did I get involved into Arsenal? Well. Somebody from Birmingham, uh, um, i.e. me, um, you're probably wondering why would somebody from there would want to get involved into supporting Arsenal when, you know, you could support your local team like Aston Villa or Birmingham City or even West Brom. Um, now, what happened that, um, that uh, me and Arsenal kind of collided was uh, I was living in London at the time um, I was eight years old and um, I saw a game on TV it came on TV and I sat down to watch um, I think we was playing Newcastle then and um, and it was an evening game and uh, I remember um, like uh, I remember just seeing the team in red and white and then I saw the craziest thing just happened and I saw the ball being crossed into the box and then there was Ian Wright that just scored a goal completely out of nowhere it was just a crazy 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 goal I was like stunned and then I, I remember seeing on the interview um, um, about how he talked about what he was doing and how he managed to you know, score the goal and and uh, it, it was just brilliant um, seeing him play seeing him play and then I started to get involved into Arsenal a little bit more so I'd begun wearing um, wearing wearing Nike stuff because at the time we were sponsored by Nike and um, like hence why I wear a lot of Nike stuff because uh, that was in support of Arsenal but I grew to know Nike as well that's another story for another time but the thing what, what I wanted to say was um, it just came from then I support Ian Wright and I I grew to appreciate what he was able to do and then um, Arsene Wenger came in and um, and then we you know the rest was literally history um, he won um, the uh, the double you know and uh the invincibles and uh you know like there was a real real good success we was like really challenging um for the supremacy with man united at the time and um it was just a really exciting time so that's really what got me into arsenal <clears throat> the best moments um well given the fact that i haven't gone to many games i wish i'd gone to highbury a lot more i wish i'd gone to the emirates a lot more um but the the best moments that i've ever seen was well it has to be the invincible season because no one in in the history of the premiership has actually done what we've been able to do um winning um games and drawing them um but being undefeated for the entire season it's unheard of that record is still intact um to this day so that was one of the best things about arsenal um also the doubles that we won um back in 98 and also in 2002 um those were those were just so magical things and you know we witnessed some great great footballers coming in into arsenal and um you know people like thierry Henry people like um, Emmanuel Petit, um, you know, Mark Overmars, um, all these guys that came in, it was just brilliant. And um, I uh, I will never forget that as an Arsenal fan, never. Um, and 
there's been some surprising moments as well. Um, um, the day when Meza Ozil came, came into the club, I know, I know there's some people out there that, that that's not really favouring him right now, but when he came in, everybody was delirious about it, even, even me, because it just um, said something about this change, about the direction that we wanted to go in. So um, that was one of the good moments of, of the club. Um, and also winning two FA Cups, the last two FA Cups that we won, um, um, the first time we won a trophy after so long, it was so emotional that we, that like, uh, I didn't think that that would be possible. I remember I was actually working for McDonald's then and, uh, I managed to see the game. I just about finished work and everything, but I managed to see the, the game. I was on TV and I was in, uh, utter joy. There was a big smile on my face and, uh. Um, I couldn't believe that we finally, finally won a trophy after so, so long. But um, emotionally, we've been on a roller coaster. So that was one of the. Few, that's a few good moments that uh, um, that happened as an Arsenal fan. Um, also, I've been to the Emirates. Um, I've been there three times, three times so four times so far. Um, one being a stadium tour, the rest being. Um, uh, um, Emirates Cup games and I was there for my birthday, my recent birthday um, for the Wolves game and um, it like he would have been really really great if we would won that game but we drew that game um, but I was just happy to do it because not many games fall on my birthday so I just thought let me go down there and have a good time um, and I had a really, really, really good, really good birthday, um, to be honest, um, overall. Um, it was something I would never, ever forget. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's all the greatest moments that I have as an Arsenal fan. Right, so uh, the worst moments about being an Arsenal fan. Where do you want to start? Um, the 8-2 losing to Man United. Um, I didn't even see that game um, at the time I was actually going to the cinema seeing the in between us um, film and uh, that made me feel slightly better but like the the level of banter, uh, banter that I got the level of stick that I got at that at that time um, it was unbearable like it, it was unbearable I just couldn't really believe it and um, I was just in anger, shock. Didn't think it would be that bad, but it was bad, that bad. Um, losing to um, Bayern Munich 10-2 on aggregate. The amount of times that we've actually um, um, gone into transfer windows and we didn't buy the players that we actually needed. You know, um, there's so many that I could actually go through. I don't have a lot of time to even talk about it, but um, um, also the, when um, when uh, uh, when um, Thierry Henry left, that was sad. that was one of the worst moments. Um, seeing um, seeing um, Alexis Sanchez in the way that he did to leave during the last few months that was that was kind of sad to see because you know we bought this guy and he'd done some brilliant things and he and had he stayed he could have been he could have been an Arsenal great for me but he decided to go and he went for, for the money and for you know yes there's ambition but nah nah and like you sometimes when you leave when you leave clubs we would love them to leave Honorable, honorably but um no no mm -mm. i think also the worst moment probably was the champions league final against barcelona and um we took an early goal lead and then we had layman sent off and then all we had to do was just hang on for the last 13 minutes or so and then we would have actually won it um but Barcelona came back and they scored 
that hurt because we are like I, I would love it if we could get to that final again I would love it but we didn't we didn't um also um the the Carlin Cup final when we faced Birmingham even that hurt it was one of the worst moments um I don't know how we managed to lose that. Actually, I do know how 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 we managed to lose that. We just fell off. That's the simple way of saying it. We fell off. Um, and Birmingham fans still to this day, like you know, give me a lot of stick about it. Um, that hurt as well. There's been many times I've been hurt as an Arsenal fan. Many times. But the love for the club is just still there because I'm just passionate about it, you know. Um, but let's be real. <laughs> it wasn't great times that I've just described there. Really, really, really wasn't. So what can you do? Um, we have ups, we have downs. Okay, I'm going to talk about how I feel about um, what's going on currently within Arsenal. Now, I think that um, it's not great at the moment. Um, the Ozil situation, like when he came in, it was supposed to be great. You know, like he, like he, he could be um, an Arsenal legend. But five years later, I don't know what's going on. He's like having days off for being injured. You know, he's been taken off for tactical reasons. Um, I personally think that Emery's kind of sussed him out because he's not what he wants anymore. Um, he doesn't fit the system. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know, but something needs to be sorted out and fast. But I like I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if he left. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Stan Kroenke is another person that definitely needs to go because. He doesn't talk to the club. Um, sorry, he doesn't talk to the um, the the fans. He doesn't um, include us in our plans about what he wants to do. Um, he doesn't invest into the team. You know, you know, you got other clubs out there in the world that actually do things. You know, that actually say, "Yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. I'm gonna bring. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that, and everything." But he is. Um, Obviously, we've been following the financial fair play rules and also um, um, we've been given <laughs> Champions League money kind, kind of deals to um, players who are mediocre, you know, you know, it's it's mad. It's mad. I'm not going to get down into the economics of it all, but it's, it's so, so mad. Um, what else have you got? you got fans still you know divided you know and it's just we shouldn't be fighting right we, we, we shouldn't be fighting and whatnot you know we're all Arsenal fans at the end of the day we should, should support one another um I'm kind of angry about how things have turned out to be in the last few years or so you know playing in the Europa League don't get me wrong it's great going to see it playing different teams and going to different locations but really we should be in Champions League, honestly, um, for footballing reasons. Um, we should be in there. Um, I miss it on the Wednesday night when the Champions League theme tune gets played out just before a game. Um, I miss that all. Just get us in back in there, seriously. Um, also, it's the way that the team's playing at the moment. It's not great. It's not great. And... Um, you know, technically we're not set up great um, for some games. Um, but the, the upshot is that, you know, Emery's done, done something right. Um, he's got us winning. He's got us undefeated. 22 um, games. Um, but um, that's a really good achievement, to be honest. Um, he's still got a lot of work to do. And I'm prepared to give him time. But I just wanted to say that uh, he's doing okay, but he does need investment. And this is one, uh, one of the things that I, I want Cronky to do, you know, 
giving the investment so he can actually get the players that he actually wants and he can actually get things going. Uh, Swen missing tat leaving at the moment. Um, it's not great, but um, apparently there's there's conflicting reports what's going on. Um, um, for me, I don't know if it's because he works alone and tries to do things alone, and then and then he's put ideas to to the board, and then he gets annoyed by. It. I don't know. I don't know what's happened there, but um, it's not good. Not good at all. So it's one of those, all those things that's going on, um, and the injury front as well. We always get injuries round about this time of year. Um, it's just been tough, and then there, obviously there's players that we could have done, we could have done with, but we don't have any at the moment. And with this loan deals that we are interested in doing, not buying. Um, that's only going to make things a lot more worse. Now, at the time of this recording, um, we have got only less than a few days left to go in the transfer window. That's it until the summer. Um, whether or not we're going to bring people in, that's just... I don't know. It's gonna, it's a race against time, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. We don't even know who's going to go out. Um, but it's just a crazy, crazy time. You know, Arsenal, uh, Arsenal for several years now, like, would give me heart attacks and it would, it would give me heart attacks, seriously. <laughs> but I'm still supporting the club. I'm 23 years into this club, you know, and counting. But it's like, I don't know if, um, if, um, you know, there'll be a consistent basis where I'll be a bit calmer and happier about the way things are going. But at the moment, it's like a soap opera. Every time it's going, duh, duh, duh. It's mad. So, um, I'm done talking about Arsenal. Um, I would love to be able to talk about Arsenal all day long. But, um, you know, uh, I just thought, let me just talk about this. Um, because it's a part of me. And I wanted to, you guys to learn a little bit about me. So, um, yeah, so with that, I am going to end this uh, show. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, share it, do all of that stuff. I will be back next week with another episode. In the meantime, though, stay fresh, stay strong. Peace out.